Happy Monday, everybody, and welcome to May. This is your market update for May 1st. I hope you had a great weekend. So I was really hoping with the failure of First Republic Bank and the acquisition of First Republic by J.P. Morgan, along with the fact that mortgage-backed securities had a great day on Friday, I was really hoping that we would have a favorable reaction this morning and mortgage-backed securities would continue to carry that positive momentum from Friday and open positive. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Uh, mortgage backed securities opened the day down eight, eight basis points and unfortunately continued to sell off, currently down about 44 basis points and have broken below that 50 day moving average. That key level of support we really want to hold in place for uh, kind of to maintain favorable uh, opportunity for mortgage pricing moving forward. Um, hopefully, we'll have an afternoon rally that'll keep us back up above that 50 day moving average and we'll, that's where we'll close. We really need that key level of support to hold. Um, stock market uh, this morning opened mixed. I think the Dow was up 26. Uh, uh, NASDAQ and S&P 500 opened down just slightly. Um, at one point, I think that all three indexes were positive, but currently they're all negative with the Dow down 39, NASDAQ down 7, S&P 500 pretty much flat. Um, construction spending for March came out earlier today and showed that construction spending actually was came in above market expectations. Um, the ISM Manufacturing Index, which is a report that shows basically the health of the manufacturing sector in the United States, that also came in better than what the market was anticipating. Neither one of those uh, probably did any favors to the, uh, the bond market. Um, some information we have coming out this week, I mentioned last week, this week's going to be you know jam-packed full of information that could impact the market. That starts pretty much tomorrow with a JOLTS report, which is an employment-related report. Then, of course, on Wednesday, we've got the Federal Reserve uh, statement and the press conf conference at the culmination of their meeting, which will give us probably a good indication of not only what the Fed uh, plan to do with rate hikes this go around, but more importantly, what they're going to do moving forward. Markets going to be looking at that very, very closely. Um, we've also got the ADP report, mortgage application data. Um, coming out on Wednesday as well. Thursday, the initial jobless claims report, and then Friday is the big um, jobs report. So a lot of information, but the two to watch most closely are the Fed uh, statement at the culmination of their meeting and the press conference that ensues, as well as the jobs report on Friday. We'll continue to keep you updated on the uh, information that comes out this week and the impact that it has on the markets. Have a great afternoon, and I'll see you tomorrow.